So last time I made a video talking about how you can use LaTeX and the best note taking environment but it turns out this is not actually the best. There's a much better way to do things which I discovered recently and learned about recently and I put a redactation and I apologize because this uses VS Cup. Okay, this is not a good system. I'll keep the video up but again it is redacted. So let's get into the better way of how to do this. And okay this time if you guess from the title we are going to be using NeoVim and VimTech which is a LaTeX plugin. And we're going to be using VimWiki, which is the best organizational productivity app out there. But I'll talk about that later in this video. First, let's start with the basics. NeoVim. We're going to be using NeoVim because it's, it's just, it's just better. Okay. Uh, let's not get into the Vim NeoVim debate here. Install NeoVim. How do you install NeoVim? Now, okay. I don't want to make this a step by step tutorial. Just search, just fucking search up NeoVim. Okay. Not, not that hard. Okay, just download NeoVim. Uh, figure out how to do it. Not that difficult. The instructions are right here. Just read a little bit. Okay, just read and you will find out. Fucking step by step shit these days. Like, bro, just read. Okay, install NeoVim and the next thing you do is install Node.js and update it to above 14.14. Now, to do that, you can go to the, I'll leave a link to this in the description. I'll leave the steps as well in the description. Now, in order to, uh, I would suggest you just run one of these commands. Okay, just curl this and you'll have Node.js fully up to date. And okay, now let's get into the slightly complicated part. How do we configure NeoVim? NeoVim on its own is just a raw text editor, which doesn't really have much functionality at all, but you can extend it indefinitely and basically make it outclass any IDE out there, which is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So the first thing is init.lua. Okay, make this exact directory structure. Go into your dot config and make this. Okay, call everything exactly the way I call it. Name the directories exactly what they're named. Again, I've left a GitHub link to this in the description. Not trying to promote my shitty GitHub page. Use this as an example. Do not copy this. Okay, just use this as an example. Now, okay, make this exact directory structure. And on a quick note, install a nerd font. Okay, so to install nerd fonts, what you do is you go into your dot local share, make a directory called fonts. And in that you go to the GitHub website here, which is nerd fonts. And you just choose one of these folders, download these folders and put it into this file. You'll need nerd fonts for your terminal in order to display icons. Okay. Now let's get into the, to the configuration of NeoVim. So first thing I want to go over is your init.lua. Now, with using Lua and the require function, you can split your configuration into many different files, which just make it easier to organize. So as you can see here, require basically takes Lua fold, Lua files from the folder Lua, from the directory Lua. So you go into that again, you have to call it Lua. The setup here, you can call that anything, but here you'll notice that my options map my mappings and my plugins require my options. It's going to pull out all of this. Now in Lua, you can also use Vim CMD. As far as I know, this doesn't actually slow down performance, but if you're confused on how to get a setting in Lua, just use Vim CMD. My options is going to pull it from here. My mappings pulls this and my plugins pulls this. Now let's open up my plugins. Now over here, you'll see a slash setup. Now this setup is kind of like the path to the setups folder. Do not put the whole path from uh, home, config, and Vim. Just put slash setup which is from the Lua folder itself. Put the path from the Lua folder to the Lua file name. That's how it works. If you put the whole path, the require function will not work. And okay, that's how you get the settings done. And okay, now I will go over autocomplete. I'm not gonna talk about all of these settings here. You can kind of find out on your own how they work, but we are gonna go over some crucial stuff in this video like autocompletion. NeoVim does not come with inbuilt autocompletion. How are you gonna do it? How do you get snippets? How do you get autocompletion? And how do you get that IntelliSense functionality from VS Code? Well, to do that, we are gonna be using Conquer of Completions. What is Conquer of Completions? It is Cock Clash of Clans. Give it a, give it a, give it a bossy balls. So just search up COC NeoVim and you go to the GitHub page. This is how you install plugins. Okay. You go to the GitHub page and then you go clone or whatever the fuck. And then you read the instructions. You'll always have instructions here. Insta oh, you can also install CRC extensions. All right. So you go there and then you go to this exact directory. You go to nvim pack plugins start. Okay. Now this is lazy loading. This is eager loading. Just put everything in start. Don't worry about lazy loading. And over here, this is where you put the folders from the GitHub page. Now you can do that in two ways. You can either clone 
or download the zip file. Or I would recommend you read the instructions on native package managers and stuff over here. It's somewhere here, Vim plug, uh, check out install. Okay, let's just quickly go there. I'll show you what it looks like. Requirements, using Packer, all these various pack, whatever the fuck. Na there we go, native package manager, Vim. Make the directory, you see, pack. Uh, they call it COC here, but you can call it plugins. And then you just use this. This is the command, okay? This is the GitHub command. This is how you install it. And then you run the help tag commands to the doc page, which is how you get the help commands. Okay, so once you get that done, all right, let's go into some configuration. So now, once you have COC installed, which is right here, what you can do is you can get snippets. So in order to get snippets, let's just open up any Vim file. You have to run the command. You can see at the bottom of the screen here, COC install. You just press tab and it'll autocomplete. COC dash snippets. Okay, install this and then you'll have a snippet engine. I've done it already. And then in order to modify your snippets, you do COC command snippets dot edit snippets. You press enter and you can see all the commands for this file type. It'll take you to the file type commands. I'll show you an example where I've done commands. So now let's get into Vimtech. Okay, now Vimtech is another plugin which allows you to basically use LaTeX very easily with NeoVim. So you download this plugin the same way I showed you earlier. You can just, you just git clone the repo into the start folder, <coughs> pack, plugins, start. You just git clone it and you can see that over here, VimTech. Now I'll show you an example of how it works. So open up any tech file, .tex, and I'll show you an example of an assignment I've done here. And you press leader key LL. For me, the leader key is space, okay? Compilation completed. And there you go. This is Zatura. Use Zatura. Download Zatura. Figure out how to do that on your own. Not too hard. You can even use fucking apt package manager. If you're on Windows, figure out how to do that shit. Okay. So I'll just show you a quick example of how it works here. All right. I go word is shit. Word is now we'll make that word is very shit. The compiler is in continuous mode. So every time I save it, which is colon w, the command w, you'll see that it updates over there. It compiles. There you go. It updated. So this is how Vim tech works. This is what it allows you to do. There are some configuration options, but I would suggest you just read the GitHub repo I sent you. I'm not going to explain that in this video. Q, Q, and get out of that. And there you go. Uh, you want to get rid of the green highlighting and stuff? You press escape on Zatura or you just resave it again. So that's how LaTeX works. I'm not going to get into LaTeX in this video. Learn how to use that on your own. Just, this is how you learn LaTeX, okay? You just start using it and boom, you, you'll fucking learn it. That's how it works. Start using it, deep dive into that shit and you learn it. Now let's get on to VimWiki. Now, there are many organizational slash productivity apps these days that are being sold and they all use like Markdown and things like that. The reason I have a problem with this is because they're taking uh, basically FOSS software and they're just making it proprietary for no fucking reason whatsoever. This thing right here, this cum drop, do not buy cum drop, okay? Like if this guy, this, I used to watch this guy's YouTube videos on how to configure NeoVim. He's literally using the best note-taking app to make a shittier note-taking app which spies on you and costs like fucking, how much does it cost? Oh, it costs a coffee a month, bro. Like, no offense, fuck off. Uh, the, another one is called Evernote. Do not use Evernote. Do not use any of these soy cuck proprietary crap. I mean, okay, Obsidian is kind of good, I guess, because it's free and it stores files locally, but just use VimWiki. About to end this man's whole career. Done. Okay, uh, I showed you how to get plugins earlier. You just clone all this shit into the folder I showed you earlier, into that start folder, okay? Uh, here, right here, VimWiki. Now, I'll quickly show an example of VimWiki and uh, the mark. It's the fucking markdown, okay? You got your normal markdown stuff with it. And okay, there you go. This is, you can, okay, look at this. I press control space, boom, it becomes a tick. I press GLN, GLP, you get like those cool progression icons. Over here, I press enter, it takes me to another entry. To make an entry, I go, I highlight it, and I press enter, and then I press enter again, boom, it takes me to the entry. I press tab to cycle through the links, shift tab to go back, and there you go. Okay, now, I've left a lot of configurations here, and I'm going to go over some important ones that I think you should note down. So when we go into COC config, 
make sure that choosing the snippet is binded to control F. Do not bind it to carriage return. Okay, that'll mess with your Vim wiki. Not to mention control F is just better anyway. All right, so I'm just going to show you this much here. I don't want to make this a super in-depth step-by-step tutorial because I believe that will ruin the learning experience for you. Totally not an excuse for making a harder video. Just learn how to do this yourself. Believe me, you have the intelligence to figure it out. I have left the crucial steps in the description. Follow the crucial steps and then build upon it however you see fit. Configure it yourself, learn yourself, stop being complacent and arrogant, use FOSS software and dab on the proprietary cucks. Thanks for watching.